किलोमीटर कितना आ सकता है मैक्सिमम हम लोग को मिल सकते हैं थर्टी फाइव सेवेंटी कैसे आएगा एक दो सुन तो मेरी बात नो Now I've got to tell you that today is an incredible episode mainly because of the back stories and I'll get to that. Today also a lot is at stake. My name is Rajiv Makhni and I'm taking you into the thick of an absolutely explosive episode of Chromatech Grandmasters season 3. Up against our two khonkhar teams, our very own shares from Loyola School Jamshedpur and Amar Chand Mangal Das Delhi. Okay, and now I'll tell you the back story. The back story is this last year in our Bazigar or Lucky Loser episode, these two very teams played against each other. That time Amar Chand Mangal Das won. This year you've already seen Loyola Jamshedpur playing a Bazigar episode winning emphatically and coming here super confident what will happen will history repeat itself or will history be rewritten brand new and absolutely differently that's what's going to happen here you can only imagine how blood thirsty these lawyers are right now and exactly what's happening with the school boys we are talking about comeback kings the bazigars the almost sunk titanic the guys who will do anything to fight for the last eight let's get them in first amarchand mangaldas siddharth sen and prashant sirohi from amarchand mangaldas are back So gentlemen this episode is all about back stories and one back story that I just spoke to you at the back about was the fact that the two of you are constantly in conflict and you gave me some proof you yeah. said look at what I'm wearing just look at us yeah so you called him and said uh what are you wearing today and he said t-shirt and that you know my fashion sense may not be very strong but that is not a t-shirt under any circumstances so why did you tell him t-shirt Oh, come now he called me at 6 in the morning who calls someone at 6 in the morning and says what are you wearing oh so oh, you answer wearing i'm wearing a t-shirt so he he never okay listen from now on if you make it to the quarters okay besides the other conflict you have at least get the clothing right right <laughs> all right so you guys are back i've already told everybody in television land in this live audience out here that you guys have history with loyal ajam shetpur yeah <clears throat> that history will either repeat itself you took them down last time yep. yes. right but may not happen this time because they are coming in strong they Super absolutely strong. killed the competition in the bazigar episode 40 45 points i remember it to be so let's get them in and find out what they think this time now we're moving on to team green a very well deserved second chance that's loyla team shetpur please welcome anirban kundu and kc sachin Now why is there a different spring in your step this time you've played twice already the other part in your back stories is that the two of you said that you never quizzed together you've quizzed twice out here once not so successfully but yet you almost did it in the second time brilliantly played but quizzing together was a pledge that they took before they finished school they will actually come into quizzing uh, regretting it now and no <laughs> can you say anything different right now best friends okay both teams are in we are ready to go this as i've said is the pre quarter final but you forgotten one thing we also have an awesome audience that i'm going to have a quick chat with and maybe even warm them up with one quick question okay here it is now although it started in the 1970s the game snake snake you heard of snake right became hugely famous after it was preloaded on which brand of cell phones worldwide you stand up and um, give me the answer Nokia. I Nokia gets Nokia. you the question. Yes, well done. Come, bring the mic. Come. So you played Sneak on a Nokia phone. Now yeah. you can go back and play amazing games on a Carbon ST3 tablet okay. from Chroma. That's what you won. Fantastic. Well done. Can Thank I get your name? Thank you so much, Riddhi. Well done. Congratulations Thank again. Well played. Okay the audience is already one one of you will win and actually move on to the quarter final All you have to do is start from the bottom and make your way to the top Every block that is numbered has some points and within that are mini games some direct questions some like word maze and our favorite wipeout 
every time you get the block you get the points you move your way forward your quest is to reach the top and at the top right now a hundred points but every time I ask each team a question that reduces by five this is a game of strategy gameplay knowledge and of course you've got to be a techie there's only one person one team and finally become chroma tech grandmasters to get that started i've got to get both teams onto the pyramid let's see which one makes it first question directly on buzzer first team to buzz in and give me the correct answer goes on to the pyramid the question is which popular website started by pierre or Omid... it's green team ebay ebay, eBay. Correct. Well done. Good start. We will move on to question number two. That's to get Amar Chand. Red team onto the board. This is a fill in the blank. A loudspeaker used to produce low audio frequencies is woofer. A woofer is correct. Well done. All right. We are back with you, green team. Five points each. What do you want to do? E. 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 So you will go with E for twenty points. And for twenty points, this is what I have for you. One question. Three progressive clues. Get it right on the first one. Twenty, ten, or five. Identify this famous personality. Clue number one. He authored his first book, The Large Scale Structure of Space Time, with George Ellis in 1973. For twenty points, think, 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 or tell me to move Next forward. Clue. Next, Next clue. clue. For ten points now. In 1974, he predicted that black holes emit radiation. Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking is correct. <laughs> you get ten points. That's good going out there. But we are back with you, red team. What do you want to do? We'll go with B. Four twenty points on block B. We will also play progressive with you. What electronic product is this? Clue number one for twenty points. In two thousand and twelve, the inventor was honored on his seventy eighth birthday with a Google Doodle. Remember. Next clue. All right. For ten points now, the commercial breakthrough was made by Wendy Carlos on the nineteen sixty eight record switched on Bach. What electronic product is this? Clue next clue. Next clue. Okay, for five points now, it was invented by a pioneer with the first name Robert. It was the. Uh, I need an answer. The uh, gramophone. The gramophone is incorrect. Green team, you have a very small advantage right now. Can you make it bigger? What do you want to do? J. J. We're going to play match the following. I will give you names of CEOs and tech companies. Just match the CEO to the tech company. Five points for each. Here they are. John Chambers, Cisco, Ursula Burns, Xerox, Virginia Rometty, IBM, IBM Richard, Richard Templeton, Texas Instruments. All four are correct. Well done. Scores now move to 35. Five points for you, Red Team. What do you want to do? B again. We're giving you a brand new question behind the block. 20B. We're going to play a game called Sequence It. Arrange these Need for Speed games in the order in which they were first released, starting from the earliest. Underground. That's your first. Rivals. Second, the run. Okay, third, Pro Street. Fourth, so you basically mixed up two Pro Street and Rivals. If you just switched those two, you would have got a full twenty. You still get ten points. We are back with you, Green Team. We go for I. I. We're going to play a word maze. Hidden within this word maze, find any five computer languages. But do remember, computer languages with at least three letters in them. Therefore, saying C or C plus okay. it doesn't count. Here they are. Palancol, Pascal. Two. Cobol, Cobol, Ada. Four. Fortran, Fortran. Five. Twenty-five points are yours. Well done. Very well done. You've got all twenty-five points. You move on to an excellent score of sixty. Fifteen points for Amar Chand. What do you want to do? We'll take H. H. You move upwards twenty H, and with that, you also get a chance to get Canon Pixima printers. Get any part of this question right, yeah. you can win Canon Pixima printers from Chroma. We are moving in now, and we are going to play a visual image with you. I will show you three social bookmarking website logos. For twenty points, just identify the three. Logos in front of you now. Stumble upon one. Ding ding. Uh, Reddit and uh, I don't know what is link uh, uh, social. Link. Give me a third right away. Um, blogger. Blogger. So what I heard was stumble upon Reddit and blogger. That gives you only five points. Delicious and dig. Delicious, Delicious and dig. And dig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are the other two. You are absolutely right. Okay, so you get five points. You get the Canon Pixima printers from Chroma, though. Your score now moves to twenty sixty for Loyola on green. We are back with you. What do you want to do? 
M. We go for M. Rapid fire, four direct questions. All four questions are based on smartphones. So remember that as your flow. Which company announced the launch of an octa-core smartphone recently, which is considered India's first? Chroma. Is incorrect. It is in text. They just spoke about it. In 2011, which company launched Echo, the world's first dual-screen Android phone? LG. Incorrect. It's Kyocera. Number three, which company UI, launched the customer? It's correct. And the last question at 5.75 mm, which is at present the thinnest smartphone in the world? I'll take just the I name said, of the I company. Said, UI, I, said, okay. I already have heard who are we, so I cannot take anything more. UI. That is incorrect. So with that, you get just one correct, which is strange because it's smartphones, but maybe not really the brands that we think about every single day. But still, five points mean you blocked them out on that block. That's, I think, what you really were looking for. Your score now moves up to 65. 20 for you, Red Team. But Red Team, we're now going to go in for a break to give you a little bit of a chance to get your strategy around yourself. Right now, we'll take a viewer question for you when we come back. Lots more on this show. Which of these is not a name of any of the subway surfers in the popular game? A. Jake B. Fresh C. Stan Tweet your answers too at the rate NDTV Good Times Hashtag Chroma TGM3